Now, groups representing small business are pleading for the easing of red tape procedures, which they say are killing SMEs. This follows the release of the Business Environment Specialist SBP's 2012 SME Growth Index yesterday. It showed that SMEs spent anything between 3 and 6 percent of their turnover on non-product activities like red tape. Saki Stoz is the president of the Rudeport Chamber of Commerce and Industry, based in Gauteng. He's also a businessman in his own right, running an insurance firm. He says the cost of being compliant can weigh heavily on business. It's just the cost of, of getting to, uh, to comply. You know, systems need to be changed. Um, and obviously, you know, you're looking at the costs of uh, you know, documentation. Um, unfortunately, on the other side is the client, you know, which is uh, quite frustrated that needs to go through all the, uh, the documentation. Um, so, yeah, we are facing with quite a bit of retail. Stoss says stringent new regulations dictating that insurance practitioners take certain exams to be able to practice are also hampering the industry's ability to employ new stock. To do so would prove costly for firms already fielding costs left and right, and that's resulted in potential new entrants being locked out of the industry. Small business observers say a plethora of costs make it a tough environment for employers. Businesses are essentially in a survival mode. They are, they, they are spending everything that, or most of what they are making in order simply to survive, um, which leaves very, very little for, uh, for reinvestment and, uh, and for expansion, which is what we need to get, um, uh, to get the job-creating uh, job economy going. The one cost that businesses, big and small, keep raising as a serious concern is electricity. Anecdotal evidence suggests many firms have already had to shut shop due to this particular cost pressure. If I may just use an example of one of our members in the manufacturing industry, whereby he's uh, sitting between decisions now that he needs to make, uh, you know, taking on a um, decision of increasing his product because of the electricity increase, uh, and then outpricing himself in the market, you know, competing with the international market. And uh, number two, you know, looking at uh, the unemployment, uh, most probably going to let people, have, some people have to go in. And uh, thirdly, he needs to take a cut in his profit. So that is a real impact that it's going to be making you know, within our businesses, um, specifically within smaller manufacturers, uh, that's really out there and uh, that's price sensitive. But for Stoz, it's not all doom and gloom. He's optimistic for 2013, but says government, labor and the private sector need to double their efforts together to grow the economy and promote jobs. Nonpermetal Loss Business News, Johannesburg.